Hi. Hey you. Hello there. Let me show you how to make this. Cast iron mac and cheese. Even though you ain't got to have a cast iron to make it, just make sure whatever you make it in is oven safe. We're going to be making this today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. You can't beat it. The family will love it. It'll be the only macaroni and cheese recipe you'll ever need. But do note, the cheeses I use, which is sharp cheddar, you can use the cheese of your choice in this. The sky's the limit. Let's make this today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. Okay, to start this recipe off, we're gonna cook 16 ounces of this elbow pasta. 16 ounces. Go ahead and cook it, drain it, and have it set to the side, ready to go into the cheese mixture. Let's do it. Hey, before we get started, a little spoiler alert. You ain't gotta have a cast iron pan. Just sound good, cast iron macaroni and cheese. Now, didn't it? <laughs> Any compatible dish will work, as long as it's oven safe. You can also make this recipe up in a pan, any kind of pan then put it in another dish for the oven. You can do that too. You don't really need a cast iron pan, but it just sounds so good. Let's get started. One stick of butter in. We're gonna melt this butter all the way down. Get the whole stick melted. Got my heat on a medium. When your butter's melted, add two tablespoons of flour. Just pour it in there. We're gonna make a roux out of this, everybody. Stir it well, keep that stuff stirred. Make sure your heat's on a medium. We're gonna stir this around until it turns a slight brown. That means our fire's cooked. We'll let it go around about a minute or so. You can see it turning colors. You can tell when it's cooked because it's gonna turn a real light brownish tan looking color, like it's doing really right now. Okay, now let's pour in two cups of whole milk. Two cups of whole milk going in. We're going in with one cup of evaporated milk going in. Okay, we're gonna hit it with some paprika. Probably about a good teaspoon or so right in there. Of course, you know we gotta have some black pepper. About a teaspoon. All right, now we're gonna stir this until it thickens up. And believe me, it will thicken up. You'll be able to see it on the walls of your pan when it starts thickening. Keep it stirred. See how you can tell when it starts thickening? It's on the side of your pan, see that? I just put both of these in, eight ounces each, so I've got 16 ounces of sharp cheddar cheese in here. Let's stir it up well. You can cut your heat down a little bit if you want to. We ain't in no hurry here. Mm -mm -mm. Keep it stirred. Get everything well incorporated. Okay, I've got all my cheeses in there real good. Everything's well incorporated, thickened up just like I want. I've got my heat right now on about a three. I'm adding all my pasta I made. I'm gonna add about half to start with. Stir it in well. Mm-mm. Some good stuff, everybody. Okay, let's go in with some more. Put it all in there. Be careful if you're in a 12-inch pan because this is gonna fill it up and you don't want to slosh it over the sides. So what I do is go around the edges like this, folding it in. See that? Just fold all that goodness in. We're gonna get this mixed well. I'm gonna cut my heat off. I've got it just about stirred in. We're fixing to do the final step before we put it in the oven on broil. We're gonna put this on broil in the oven for around three to five minutes. It depends on your oven. What we're looking for is a golden brown on top. And right here is how we're gonna do it. Okay, we got our other four ounces of cheese here. What I'm gonna do, is, which is about, you know, about a good half a cup, I'm just gonna sprinkle around the top. See that? Just get it all on it. You ain't gotta put no thick layer on it, not unless you just want it. This is loaded with cheese, everybody. Please try this dish because I'm telling you, it is fantastic. I wouldn't show it if it wasn't. All these dishes, unless I say it's a test kitchen, all these dishes I cook on the show, everybody, I've cooked a lot in my life. Not unless I tell you otherwise. All right, it's ready for the oven. Look how pretty that is. 
It's ready for the oven. I'm gonna put it on broil for about four or five minutes. Start checking it around three. Let's go to the oven. Okay, it's ready. Let's go get it out of the oven. Oh my, 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 my. Look at that, everybody. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Smells fantastic. So easy, ain't it? Didn't I show you? Didn't I tell you it's so easy? Look at that, how beautiful that is. See if I can get close. Look at that. See how the broiling browns the top there a little bit? Let's taste test it now. Okay, let's get into this deliciousness, everybody. Look at this. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's taste this goodness, y'all. It is so good. You get the whole nine yards of flavor when it first hits your mouth, everybody. This will be your go-to recipe. You don't need another recipe for macaroni and cheese. This is it. Your family will love it. So good. So creamy. See, it's not real thick. I don't like thick macaroni and cheese. I like creamy macaroni and cheese, and this makes it perfect for you. I want to thank everybody today for watching on Comfortable Cooking again. Well, you know Jesus is always Lord. If you got any prayer requests, Write them in the comments below. We believe in prayer on our program here. God bless all until we see you again on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall.